Hello, Senior Stoner fans. It's the real Senior Stoner back at you with your Puffco Cupsy and Wax Cigar Diamond Dab of the Day. Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining me. As always, since you're going to find today's video interesting, you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button, tell your friends, send a like, and I reply to all the comments. Let's get started on today's topic. I raised my hand twice on this one. How many people out there run from their problems? We all do. Everybody run. First impression, first thing to do. Problem, run from it. Well, you know what? That's not the right way to do it. We need to embrace the discomfort and suffering, believe it or not. That's right. It's a pretty strong statement. Because most positive and good things in life will inevitably include or bring some suffering. There's no real way around it. So do you want to experience a deep love? then you might have to accept that you'll eventually feel a deep loss. Do you want to lose weight? Well, then you're going to have to accept dietary and lifestyle changes to make it happen. Do you want to get mental issues under control? Then you're going to have to accept the potential discomfort with therapy and doctors. Do you want a better job? Well, then you're going to have to accept the uncertainty and discomfort of job searches, interviewing, or training for a new career. There's nothing gained without something suffered. I'm sorry. But many people are so intent on finding a vibrant, fictional happiness that they sabotage their own ability to acquire meaningful things. It's rare that anyone's going to accomplish anything without a lot of work, which sometimes means suffering through tedious and uncomfortable things. I can attest to that. You don't get paid. It's not called a job without work. So to face our problems courageously, we're going to have to accept that we aren't going to feel comfortable. Think about it. It's not going to be easy. It's not going to be happy or pleasant process. I'm sorry. So as a caveat, we need to remember everything happens for a reason. And that if we suffer through being disrespected or abused, it doesn't mean we deserve to suffer. It only means that change is going to bring some pain with it. There's no avoiding it. What you need to do, I think, is turn to any support network that you have, anyone at all. Many journeys in life are lonely, but they don't have to be. There are people out there who are on similar paths. Look at all the people who converge here. People are on similar journeys. People are striving to accomplish the same goals that we are. There may even be people around us that we can lean on as we work to overcome obstacles. Not every trail needs to be blazed on our own, even if it's something personal. There are people out there that have already walked the paths that we're embarking on. Think about it. We do need to be cautious and exercise careful judgment. It's a mental health challenge. We've got to overcome it. Family and friends while they love and care about us, might not have the kind of knowledge required to provide the meaningful support we need and insight on our journey. And there are other times we might find ourselves alone in the crossroads and professional support may be the only good option. Never be afraid of professional support. So what we've learned through many of our discussions, over 2,100 videos I've done, is to develop a plan with short-term and long-term goals. Fear is often rooted in ignorance and lack of knowledge about a particular subject. That fear is a key factor when people run away from their problems. So we need to work to dispel the fear by learning more about not only the challenge that we face, but about the process to confront it and overcome it. Therapy is a great, great place to start. I have a wonderful one for over 20 years. They can help us develop course of actions, with short-term and long-term goals. See, it's important that we have personal goals here that we want to pursue as we work to better ourselves. They provide the framework for accomplishment. And we'll look back on the things we accomplished and say how far we've come. And now we have strength, willpower, and capacity to accomplish more. The goal setting is an integral part of forward progress. You got to work on self-confidence, self-belief, and self-respect. One of the reasons we choose to run from problems may be because we don't feel confident tackling them. 
We don't believe in our abilities to take whatever actions needed to be taken. When you're confident, you act regardless of the fears we might have about doing it. We realize and recognize that it's something that needs to be done, so you set your mind doing it. When you believe in yourself and see yourself as being capable of tackling your problems, you know that you have the necessary skills and knowledge to resolve things effectively. If you struggle with your self-confidence or self-belief or both, sometimes you won't even try, which is why we've got to tackle those roadblocks before we engage other problems. How do we do it? Well, since it's affecting our lives to a certain extent, if not a great extent, maybe we get the help of a therapist. If not, it might take a little longer, but you've got tools in your tool chest. Build momentum. That's right. Despite what it sounds like, running away from your problems doesn't involve movement of any sort. In fact, it keeps you firmly fixed and planted, even if you manage to find a way to temporarily escape the clutches of whatever it is you're running from. If you can just get moving a little bit, figuratively speaking, then you can start to build up momentum. And momentum is a powerful thing when you need to get things done. When you face a problem and find a way to solve it or overcome it, your brain will release some feel-good chemicals to reward you. That positive feeling can be used as a source of energy and motivation to get another problem tackled and on and on and on and on. That's right. So what you need to do always is remember that when you suffer from a lack of confidence and belief or have issues, it's not realistic to jump in at the deep end right away, not without professional help. So go slow. Remember to always schedule in some rest and relaxation. Once you begin down the path of facing and tackling your problems, you'll need to be consciously putting some time in your diary for activities that take your mind off your problems. Taking your mind off your problems is different from running away from them. You acknowledge that they exist, but we accept that if we try to tackle everything at once, we're likely to be overwhelmed and risk burnout. And it's worth noting that you get more done and tackle more problems in the long run if you give yourselves a bit of downtime in between periods of sustained effort. I learned at Sealy University in Cleveland in training about 10 minutes every hour. There was only 50 minutes of work every hour. That's right, there was a 10 minute break. Every single hour, 10 minute break. So it's important not to fall into a false sense of security, for example. You risk losing your momentum if you don't get back to the issues at hand within a reasonable amount of time. And that amount of time depends on you and your intuition and your mindset. Remember to audit your friend circle and the people closest to you. That's right, because there are a lot of people in the world who are not positive or supportive. They can only see the world in dark and bleak ways and they insist on infecting everyone around them with the same negativity. There are also people out there that want to just see others suffer like they do or undermine the efforts and success of others. It's crab in a bucket mentality where one crab will try to pull itself out and the other crabs will pull it back in. We got to take long, hard looks at the people we're closest to. It's going to be much more difficult for us to confront problems and improve ourselves if our friends and significant other and partner is belittling us, undermining our efforts, or outright hostile to us improving ourselves. It's an unfortunate reality that too many people tend to lose friends when they start focusing on self-improvement. Self-improvement is difficult. And when you decide to improve yourself or your position, others around you may unfairly think you're attacking their choices, or their unwillingness to improve. Don't let yourself get sucked into that kind of negative and downward spiral. Don't throw away your friends. Don't forego your friends. What it means is that you just got to ensure that the people around you aren't going to destroy the progress you make. Remember, it's your life, not theirs. And there's no reason to put up with passive-aggressive comments or outright hostility. You know, Sometimes we just have to make that choice to stand and fight. Every meaningful life change comes down to a person deciding that enough is enough. They no longer want to experience life the way they do it. It doesn't matter how far 
or how fast you run, sooner or later our problems eventually catch up with us. At some point, we simply have to make the choice to stand up, fight to win, no matter the cost. We have to be the one to make the choice to stand up when our fears and battles are there. We feel like we don't have the strength or ability to do it, but we have to. You know why? Because we have more strength and resilience than we realize. It's right. It's completely normal to feel that it's difficult to do everything on your own. So don't get help. Get professional help. Get help from those that love and care about you. It's very important that as you take that first step for listening to me, for example, the next step, the worst step you could do is nothing. So what I'm asking you to do and to remember is that stop running away from our, stopping running away from problems, stopping running away from our fears is not just like that. It's a process. This is The Real Senior Stoner. I hope I helped everyone find a way, a little way, a better way to deal with their problems. Cheers, everybody. We're going to have a wax cigar diamond hit on our Cupsy from Puffco. Here we go. Thing delivers every time. Really amazing. And I'm loving it in my cup seat. Thanks, everybody, for being here. This is The Real Senior Stoner. And we've been talking <clears throat> about how not to run away from our problems. Cheers, everybody.